Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. A Journey to the Cardinal World by Zuckiji's Chapter 1 The Visitor's Beginnings A blue-haired individual known as Rimuru Tempest can be seen running across the desolate district it was in, slicing and cutting the opponents in front of him. As he killed another, two or more enemies appears trying to kill him, and slowly but surely he was getting outnumbered and outmatched due to his current condition. His breathing is starting to get ragged, even though he was a slime he felt to breathe in air as much as he can. As red veins of lines can be seen spreading throughout his body with the tattered clothes he was wearing. Even his partner who boasts in calculating speed is having a rough time of what is happening to his body. How did this happen to him? And why? He was just living the best of his own life as he was offered a second chance to live and now looks like it's going to end. But with his unwavering will he persist to live for the sake to go home where he belongs. How long has it been, Rimuru thought, he has been fighting for a few hours straight and his current situation is gradually getting worse as each seconds passed. His thoughts and consciousness are flickering that if he losses focus one bit he'll succumb to a dire situation. Even his skill regeneration is working at a slow pace since the opponents have their weapons coated with the same unknown substance that is eating him alive from the inside. Rimuru was still surrounded by those mechanoid looking opponents with their rusty and battered appearance, and their red colored eyes that is full of killing intent. It was not a good situation at all. With the hopes of keeping them at bay, but the time is running out, he called out to his partner. Oi Raphael Sensei how long is it going to take? A mix of scream anger and agony has been heard within the premises of the area the Rimuru was in. Isolating the unknown substance that has invaded the body. Status complete. Pain nullification and other skills have been restored and can be activated yes, no. Yes. At that moment, he was enveloped by white light and those red lines that stretch within his body are slowly dissipating like it wasn't there at all. And with his recovered vitality, he grips the handle of the weapon he was using and jumped into the fray turning it into a one-sided battle. Asterisk in a place that is currently in space, there was a group of four individuals discussing their current situation. Commandant, shall I proceed for the state of our mission? Please do, the commandant replied. With a press of a few buttons, a hologram can be seen in front of them viewing a certain location. A few hours ago in the city 014, there have been sightings of an unusual density of the punishing virus, showing the before and after at the location of City 014. Could it be just a horde of them flocking in? A petite looking girl said. The person who was leading the talk shakes her head sideways. That current density of the virus can be found on a single individual, she points to the centerpiece. That much, no way. A blonde dude answered, If it's only a sole individual, why is the purifying force or the Cerberus not handling it? All of them are on the action and we are the only team who is ready to be deployed at the moment. So that's how it is, your orders commandant, a different girl with an unwavering gaze looks at the commandant. Grey Raven move out. With that they ended their talk and start heading to city 014. Asterisk in a different place that lies unknown, my lady, did you feel it? Amel stated. It was a strong one after all, she replied, shall I head in there and investigate? No need since, forming a grin on her face, my sister is going there too after all. Asterisk after the hellish battle with the mechanoids and Rimuru, he finally prevails from the battle he had. That's enough fighting for today, I'm tired, Rimuru sighs as he was standing from the mountain of corpses and looked down below seeing those decommissioned mechanoids that are surrounding him. And since when did Earth turn into SF world, it's only been two years since I left and they progressed this much. He hops down sheathes his katana and starts walking away from the gruesome art he has made but before he starts a conversation he was interrupted by his partner warning the unknown substance is slowly trying to break free oh rimuru thought i thought you isolated it it is isolated however the substance is slowly trying to adapt from the area it is in and slowly breaking its way out can you just cast an absolute barrier and the problem can be solved I can but if the unknown substance also adapted to that it might consume it and become more of a nuisance. Looks like things got more complicated, he stares from the broken buildings near him, if my intuition is right looks like humanity destroyed itself huh. 
Is my soul corridor with Veldora okay? Due to the sudden teleportation the soul corridor that links between Master and Veldora has been severely eroded, it might take some time to be fully functional. Well for now let's get out of here don't want to encounter any of those guys and sensei run an appraisal as far as you can and tell me the details later. Understood. Time has passed by and Rimuru was currently hiding in a building gazing at the sun that was in front of him and understanding the details of the world situation that Raphael gave him. So those mechanoids are attracted to the substance within me I wonder why, even sensei is having a hard time right now so I'll leave to Raphael, Rimuru thought while clicking his tongue. What's more is that the magicule density is so low that recovering takes a good amount of time since the natural system of this world is dead. Rimuru sits down while his legs are hanging on the ledge he was on. Raphael Sensei is it possible to revive the spirits that dwell in this area? It can be done but, interfering with this world law might be dangerous since his master said we are in an SF world. Looks like you were right, with this world current technology if they found out that life is growing back to this dangerous area it might arouse suspicion. As Rimuru was in his deep thoughts he was once interrupted again by a sound of explosion far ahead. Four individuals are detected and fighting the same opponent's master had. Well, I only got a quarter left remaining of my magicules so let's head in there shall we? Rimuru drops down from the building he was in and started running to the source of the explosion 